We'll start off with a blank emitter and move straight into the properties. There's just a little bit of work to do in the emitter types. We'll begin by renaming this one Trail. This type will be the bright head of each fireworks blast and the tail trailing behind it. We don't want the fireworks on the screen too long, so we'll drop the life down to about 6. Increase the number to 50 to thicken the trail out a little. We don't want the particles shooting off in all directions like they're doing right now, so drop the velocity down to 0. To get the tail to fade out, turn on Use Full Gradient in the transparency settings and add a white key 3 quarters of the way through and then a black one at the end. Now the tail has a nice soft fade. Now to sculpt the shape. In the size over life graph, drop down a key at point 0.1 with a value of 100 and another at about point 0.2 with a value of 40. Then drag the last point all the way down to 0. Now each particle starts out at its normal size and shrinks down over its life. Turn on Intense, and to get the fireworks to really glow, go to the emitter's overall visibility graph and increase it to 100. Now let's add some color. Change the tint color from gray to something bright. Go into the tint strength graph and move that up to about 60. Now the head and tail are looking good, but it could use some more glow. Create a new particle type by clicking the Add New Type button. Rename it Glow and turn on Single Particle. Now this one particle will be attached to the head of the trail's particle type. Changing the size to around 30 spreads the glow out of it so that we can see it on the full emitter. Click OK to save the changes. Change the emitter into a super emitter. Now let's jump right back into the properties to start adjusting it into a nice single explosion. In the overall number graph, drop a new keyframe in at frame 10 with a value of 100 and another keyframe with a value of 0 right next to it. Now we only have a few bursts firing off. In the free emitter type, lower the F-Life graph to 30. Now the bursts vanish much quicker. Those three bursts are looking a little lonely, so let's add some more by raising the F number graph to 1000. That gives the emitter a much rounder shape. The initial speed is a bit slow though, so we increase the F velocity graph to 100. We want the bursts to have a quick start, but then slow down as they move away from the center. So we'll adjust the F velocity over life graph. Move the first key up to 200 and add another key at point 1. Add another key at point 4 with a value of 100 and another at point 7. Drop the final key down all the way to 0. Alt clicking will smooth out those curves. Now each burst flies off but slowly settles down and comes to a stop. Let's add some gravity to break up the roundness of the burst. Increase the F weight to a value of 400. Since the F weight is higher than the F velocity, the bursts start falling pretty quick. You can tweak that by going into F weight over life. Move the first point down to zero so that the bursts aren't affected by the gravity when they're born. Keep the weight off them by placing another key at point 3. At point 6, make another key with a value of 100. Let's pull the zoom down to 50 to see what's happening. The bursts are flying off at a quicker rate until the weight kicks in and starts pulling them downward. There's a lot of empty space once the bursts fly off. We can fill that gap by adjusting the overall velocity graph. At frame 10, add a key and move it to zero. Now the bursts that are born after frame 1 have less and less velocity. And so there's a finished fireworks blast. We can still add a little to the effect though by making the burst twist a little before they die. Go to the F motion randomness graph and move it way up. 500 or so will do fine. Now the bursts are looking a little unruly. Let's fix that by adjusting the F motion randomness over life graph. Drop the first key to zero, make a second key at point 0.7 and then add another key right after it with a value of 100. Now the bursts wiggle a little before they vanish.